Uh, hi, aloha. This is Melvin again, and um, today I'm going to show you how to create your own prayer garden. Uh, this prayer garden came as a dream, and I dreamt that an angel came to me with a rock in, in her hand, and <clears throat> and I didn't know what the rock was for, and all of a sudden I saw all these rocks with names on, and I said, oh, gee, what a good idea. So when I got up, I told my husband, take me to, to Walmart, take me to Lowe's at the garden, and take me to Ben Franklin. He said, what for? I said, I'm gonna create a prayer garden. And I told him about my dream. So he took me there and I, and I picked up this wonderful angel. Yeah, uh, I need it because it's, it's just, that's how the angel was on its knees. Now this bird here was from something else. So to save it, instead of um, you know throwing it away, I decided to have, make it have a home right on the angel right there. I repainted it. And the deer is significant, significant because Molokai has a lot of deer. <laughs> so I have my deer. Now, this is the first stone that I made of my mom. So um, when I had to pray for her. So anyway, and the cross on it means they're deceased. Yeah. Okay. So and I had it here. I had it here when I first had prayed for her. And then, of course, um, and then anyway, all the other names. See, I even have Loyal, Loyal Garner. Remember Loyal? Yeah, I have for her too. Yeah, Lady of Love. Okay, and I have many names here, if you can scan the names. Now this one here came from my friend, Bruce Peel, Bruce and uh, Bobby Peel. He said, could you put this in your garden? I said, of course. It's for all the brave men and women who are fighting for our country. Now all you have to do is get rocks, yeah? Smooth rocks, smooth rocks, yeah. So I have it in different colors. It can be anything, yeah? Okay. Now, and you get any kind of pen, but what I like to use on the dark rocks is a silver pen or the, the you know, the light silver, the gray silver. Let me see which one it is. I'll try this. And uh, yeah, that's it. And so like I put a name over here. Let me think of someone that I um, would know. Maybe uh, I'll put for my, um, my friend uh, Lynette. Yeah. And I know Lynette loves flowers. So I'll put a little flower on there, you know, just to put flowers and put a nice, oh, this yellow doesn't show so well. So make sure you put colors that kind of show well, yeah. Let me go put a red flower. Just get a red, all these um, pens. These are the, what you call, uh, the permanent ink, yeah, pens, yeah, as a flower. And then of course the leaf, yeah. Put the, the stem and the leaf. Yeah, just put a little flower over there, that's all. So Lynn, I, Lynette, yeah, I'll just put it there, okay? So so in the back there's nothing, so see, Lynette? And I'll place her in here. And then now this one here, this one is shaped almost like a heart. So I'm gonna do this for my friend James. He's a Kumuhula, James De La Cruz. So I'm gonna put his name on here. And, and, and his partner was John, I think it was. Okay, so I'll put um, James De La Cruz. I'll just put D and John. And I put a heart here because he has hearts as signs, yeah. So just in memory of John, okay. I'll put a little cross by John because he's deceased, okay. And then maybe uh, I'll draw maybe like an ipu or something because James is a kumuhula. So I'll get a little brown over here. Okay, so here it is, yeah. So I make a little ipu, ipu hekea. There you go. A nice ipu, yeah. And put some tea leaf um, uh, around, you know, just maybe tea leaves. Tea leaves, there you go. Just to signify that it's a little equal. So, and there's James and da, uh, John, okay? And I'll put right in my prayer garden. Just a bit right here. There we go. See? And then you have this color. So this, this is how you create a prayer garden. So go home and make one for you. And uh, if you want me to, to um, pray for somebody, you know, just let me know, okay? And I'll put their name in the garden and I'll pray for them. Mahalo. Thank you. God bless you.